Hi. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the dashboard and what it shows. Once you've created your first booking in Mag Manager, the dashboard starts to tell you information about your sales and your bookings. By default, the dashboard will be showing you information about the issue of the magazine that you are currently working on. You can very easily change this so that you can compare any current, previous, future issues of any of your publications. The most powerful tool available to you is the filter. You access the filter using the three little lines at the top left of the screen. As soon as I press it, Mac Manager shows me all of the current publications and the active issues of those publications. In our previous tutorial, we created the November issue. That's why it's displayed in our filter. To view the October and November issues, simply click the, the months that you'd like to display and you'll notice as soon as we change the filter, the dashboard changes to reflect what we've chosen. Once you're done with the filter, simply click the three lines again to hide it. Let me explain each of the dashboard displays. The first display at the top gives you a numerical breakdown of your magazine, together with your total sales. If you want to know what percentage of your magazine is adverts, what percentage is made up from your own content, then this is the tool for you. Client content is paid for advertorial and other content is your own house editorial. The revenue per page figure is the total sales divided by the number of pages in your magazine. You'll see that we have one page of advertising booked in the October and November issues, totaling £100 per magazine. The next box down to the left, titled Publications, gives you a bar chart representation of total sales. It's a great way to see how your sales are progressing month on month once you've got a few issues under your belt. Publication Pages on the right of the screen gives you a visual check of how full your magazines are. The green bar represents spare pages. Each time you make a booking, you'll notice the green bar getting smaller. Great for those can we fit you in questions when you're getting close to deadline day. The financials bar splits our revenue into ads and content. Readers are usually much more tolerant of advertorial, and this chart allows you to see what your balance of adverts to advertorial is. The pie charts on the right of the screen help us with our renewals. This isn't easily explained with just two bookings. So let's take a look at a dashboard from a company who have been using Mag Manager for six months or so. The first thing you notice is that we have lots of segments in each of our pies. The most important of these is the not booked segment. This shows you how many customers you need to chase for renewals this month. Great, you think. That's useful, but I need to know who they actually are. No problem. You just click on the pie segment to find out who they are. You can print this list using the print icon at the top of the screen, or you can just work your way through it. Clicking on the company from here will take you straight to the booking screen. And once you've booked them, they'll move into the renewals piece of the pie. Most of the segments in the pie chart are self-explanatory, except perhaps returning. This segment is for customers who have had a booking in the past, but not in the last issue of our publication. Used together, the charts on your dashboard allow you to really understand where your magazines are right now 